What's going on guys? It's Adonis with Absolutely Tech and today I'm going to show you how to restore your iPhone from an iCloud backup. So let's get into it. So before we actually jump into it, what is an iCloud backup? Well think of it as a photocopy of your phone. Everything will be stored in a file, all the data will be stored in one file that's secure on your iCloud account. Now the only thing that it will not store is going to be your music. Most of the time because your music is coming from iTunes or it's downloadable from the iTunes store, which I can show you in another video. So today we're going to show you how to erase your phone and restore from an iCloud backup. And if you're starting your phone from new, this is how you'd restore from the backup as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have a iCloud backup. So we're going to go settings. We're going to go to iCloud and we're going to go all the way down to backup and it should show us what our last backup was. Mine was this afternoon. Now, if yours wasn't, is not up to date, you just wanna hit backup now and it will update your backup to the most recent backup. Now, the next thing you wanna do is erase the phone. So we're gonna to go to settings, general, and we need to go all the way down to reset and erase all content and settings. We're gonna select that, erase iPhone, erase iPhone, and you have to put in your Apple ID. Now, once it starts to erase, you'll see this taskbar show up with the Apple logo, indicating that it's erasing your phone. So once your phone is erased, you'll be greeted with your welcome screen, your setup screen. So we're gonna to slide to setup. You're gonna select your language and basically go through the setup as if it was a new phone. So you select your country. There is Wi-Fi networks available. You have to have a Wi-Fi network available to restore from a backup. Just keep that in, in mind. Now, once we're here, we're gonna enable the location services. That's gonna be for any app that uses your location and GPS. I'm gonna enable that. And we're going to restore from an iCloud backup. From here, you're gonna enter your Apple ID. And then once you're done there, you will see that you have an iPhone backup uh, and it'll say today. Now keep in mind, if you're restoring on a brand new device and your old phone was on a newer version of the software that your new phone isn't currently on yet due to updates, you need to update the new phone first and then do the steps that we started with as far as erasing the phone and then restoring from the backup. I'm gonna select my backup from today and let the races begin. So at the halfway mark, your phone will reboot and you'll start seeing this line go across your screen, indicating that your restore is entering its final stages. Once that's complete, you'll be greeted with update completed and you'll hit continue. You'll enter your Apple ID passcode to verify that it's your stuff and you'll enter your fingerprint if you would like touch ID if your device has touch ID enabled. And next you'll create your Apple Pay accounts. Now I tell a keychain, you either turn this on if you have a Mac. If you don't have a Mac, it will not work. This will actually bring over your passwords from your browser on your Mac. That way you don't have to log in every single time you go to sites that require passwords. Hit get started. And you'll be greeted by your home screen. Keep in mind at this point, you are able to leave the Wi-Fi network you're on for the download. Just know that all the apps will pause downloading until you're back on a Wi-Fi network. At that time, you need to press on any dark application and they'll start to continue the download. So if you guys would like more how-to videos on this channel, let me know down below what you guys actually wanna learn and I'll do my best to make those videos for you guys. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Till next time, guys. See you later.